Glenda, you've been a long time supporter of the ISPCC and, and you launched their, their anti-bullying Blue Shield campaign. It's obviously a subject that's very close to your heart. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's such a great campaign and something that we all should sit up and listen to. Um, it's, you know, bullying goes on everywhere throughout your childhood, even into adulthood. It's not just kids in school and, and everything like that. It's, it happens in the workplace. It also happens online now, which I'm finding uh, quite a lot, like Twitter, Facebook, well, not so much Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, big time. Um, but you know what? I went to an all girls school. It was kind of tough sometimes, but um, and girls can be quite bitchy and you know people don't understand that the long-term effects it has on you like it can destroy a person it can kill their confidence and um, so I really do believe what my mother has taught me all these years is treat others the way you want to be treated and um, so I think a campaign like this is just so important and I think everyone should just pay attention to it and learn from it and listen and do what we're telling you to do, stop bullying. And I think what, what some people don't realise is that a flippant throwaway comment on Twitter, some people can take that home, take it to heart and it can have a real long term effect. Yeah, absolutely. Like even with my job, I'm on the show, I'm presenting a TV show and people could tweet in telling you, you look great. Now you can't always take good messages, you know, the good comes with the bad and then you get awful messages where people are actually just firing horrible comments at the way you look, nothing to do with your clothes, the way you are, the way you were born, you know, which can be pretty crap. And I think it's all about them hiding behind a computer screen or their phone or whatever it is, because a lot of times when you come face to face with people, they, they don't have the balls, excuse me, to, to say exactly what way they feel, but they do seem to be able to do that when they're, they're hiding behind a screen. Again, for a lot of, of kids and adults alike, this is a real daily problem for them. Would you have any advice? Don't be a bully, first of all. And if you see it happen and try and, re like it's very hard when you're a kid, but like, to tell a teacher you're known as a rat or whatever. But you know what, I think it's important for either girls or guys or whatever it is to, to rally around that person and make sure it's not happening. Because you know what, we've heard that it's gone to suicide or which, you know, some of us, like we've been all have been slagged in school and we've got over it, thankfully, because it probably wasn't that extreme, but other people don't. So I think if you see someone being bullied, gather around them, tell the bullies that they're being the bullies. Um, but it's a hard one. It really is a hard one, because and especially Irish people, they tend to mind their own business a lot, so they just keep away from it. So um, I, just, I just hope and tell young people out there just to, to stop it and if they see it happening to, to tell someone that's older than them or someone that's in authority that can stop it.